Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebies of the Week. Now I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they are short and sweet and to the point, but if you know that you need more practice, I definitely encourage you to check out Taken on the Best at McCarthyMathAcademy.com. The focus for our freebie this week is, drum roll, Equation Editor. Let's not waste any more time, no, no, let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here's your problem for this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one, giving it your very best. Then come on back and we will check your work. All right, fifth grade, welcome back. So let's see what this problem says. It says that Nellie has three cups of peas. She serves one fourth cup of peas onto each plate. How many servings of peas will she have? I like to squiggle whatever it is that I'm trying to figure out. So how many servings of peas will she have? So let me draw this out here. I've got somebody named Nellie, okay? And she has three cups of peas. There's one cup, two cups. And I could have drawn this using like a measuring cup or something like that, but I like to think of it in terms of whole area models. Um, she serves one fourth cups of peas onto each plate. So if this is three fourths cup, then what she's doing is for each cup, she's dividing it into fourths. Okay, onto each plate. So this would be plate number one, plate number two, plate number three, plate number four, plate number five, plate number six, plate number seven, plate number eight, plate number nine, plate 10, plate 11, and plate 12. So how many servings of peas will she have? She will have 12 servings. You can either type in your answer if it's a computer-based test, or you can push the little buttons that you'll see on the computer there to make that happen. And also, let's talk about what's happening here. So we did have a picture, but what's happening is we know we have a total of three cups that we are dividing by one fourth. We're dividing those three whole cups into fourths, giving us 12 servings. So go ahead and pause this video if you still need to make any notes on your paper. And then when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. <laughs> Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. So make sure that if you really want something, if you want to get better, stronger, more confident with something, you've got to put in time to practice and you've got to throw down your very best effort. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changers.